Hello guys, in today's video, we are going to present you the top 5 best cordless vacuum cleaner available on the market. We made this list on our personal preference and saw the date based on their prices, quality, durability and reputation of the manufacturers. Check out the description to find out their prices and more information. I will include the links in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification. So without further ado, let's get started. The number one position is dominating by Dyson Cyclone V10. This update to Dyson's popular V8 Absolute cordless vacuum features a longer runtime and even more suction power. The vacuum is designed to function either as a stick vacuum or as a handheld dust buster. When in stick mode, you can attach a motorized brush roll for deeply cleaning carpets and bump the motor up to a turbocharged suction, setting up for 20 minutes of deep cleaning. The V10 Absolute also performs well on hardwoods and you can get up to 60 minutes of continuous runtime if you can clean without a motorized cleaner head. The 0.2 gallon bin is large enough that most people will be able to clean the whole house before needing to stop to empty it. When it's time to put the vacuum away, it stores upright and hanging in a well-mounted charging dock. Thanks to its thin stick design, the vacuum takes up almost no space at all in a closet. The vacuum is relatively pricey, which is unsurprising given that it's made by Dyson, but it does come with some of the best vacuum technology currently on the market. Suction is generated with 14 concentric array cyclones and filtration is designed to take place at every point in the vacuum so that no dust can escape. In addition to the dual stick and handheld functionality, you also get six different cleaner heads. It's also worth noting that Dyson still hasn't added a lock button to the trigger on this vacuum. While users with larger hands didn't find this to be a problem, some users felt that their hands began to cramp from the holding down the trigger over more than 30 minutes of continuous use. Moving on to the next, at number 2 we have Tineco A10 Hero. Users rave about this reasonably priced stick and handheld vacuum from Tineco. The vacuum is limited by its battery, which only lasts up to 25 minutes on the low power setting. But users love that lithium-ion battery can be removed, so you can switch in a fresh spare battery to continue cleaning. The vacuum works well on either hardwood or carpet floors thanks to a motorized brush roll with an available max power setting. The vacuum only lasts a brief 7 minutes on this setting, though, so it can be problematic if your whole house is carpeted. Users also like that stick design of the vacuum allows it to easily reach under furniture, while a set of front-mounted LED lights allow you to see the debris you're cleaning. In addition, the vacuum has a power lock switch, so you don't have to creep the trigger the entire time. Along with the short battery life, this vacuum has a relatively small dust bin, so if you're working on a low power mode for the entire 25 minutes, you may need to stop and empty the bin. Thankfully, the bin is designed with a button push trap door, so it's easy to prevent dust from escaping your garbage. When you're vacuuming, a four-stage filtration system with a HEPA filter works very effectively to keep dust from spreading through the air. Tineco offers a two-year warranty on this vacuum and thanks to the fact that the battery is removable and replaceable. Users found that this vacuum can run for years without breaking down. The number three position is holding by Eureka NEC222 HyperClean. The stick vacuum from Eureka is surprisingly heavy at 6.5 pounds, but that's because it provides roughly twice the suction power of similar cordless stick and handheld vacuums. The 220 watt suction offers enough performance to thoroughly clean carpets as well as hardwood floors. But you are not limited by battery life thanks to the massive onboard lithium ion battery. You get up to 30 minutes of runtime of the standard power setting, plus, you can swap in a fresh battery since it's easily removable. The brush roll on this vacuum is slightly larger than on competitors, which can be good or bad depending on your needs. On the one hand, you can cover more area thanks to the larger brush and extra suction power. On the other hand, it can make it slightly more difficult to swivel and to reach into tight spaces. However, the head also has a set of LED lights to guide you in a shadowy areas. Plus, the vacuum comes with several accessories and the head can be quickly detached with a touch of your foot to improve the vacuum's versatility. Users especially love the washable filters on this, which is extremely effective at keeping dust out of the air while requiring almost no maintenance beyond the occasional rinse. The dustbin, too, is designed to minimize hassle with a one-touch button to dump out debris. In terms of durability, users reported vastly different experiences with this vacuum. 
Some people reported the frame breaking after one to two years of use, while others found that the vacuum ran for years with few problems. In any case, Eureka offers a solid two-year warranty and the battery is simple to replace. Next at number 4, we have Shark Ironflex 2X Dual Clean IF251. If you need a vacuum that can reach under couches and beds, this vacuum from Shark has you covered. What sets this vacuum apart is its multiflex technology. Effectively, the vacuum has a latch in the middle of the one that can be unhinged to allow the vacuum to bend. That means that you can have the roller head, a lower one nearly horizontal to reach the back corners under a bed, while the other one reaches up to your body so you don't have to bend under the bed yourself. The other unusual feature of this vacuum is that it comes with two batteries that can easily be switched out for larger jobs. The runtime of the batteries changes depending on what mode you are using the vacuum in. But you can expect about 15 to 20 minutes of use out of it when using the full vacuum rather than using it as a handheld cleaner. However, given that the batteries take several hours to charge and thus cannot be switched out continuously, this is comparable to other vacuums with a larger single battery. The Shark uses a single head with brushes designed for both carpet and hardwood flooring and it adapts between the two using an interactive display on the hand unit. This display allows you to switch between handheld floor, carpet modes as well as maximum power settings for all three, which allows you to easily customize the suction power you need as you move throughout your home. Finally, at number 5 we have iRobot Roomba 690. The Roomba is technology sensor for those who want to keep their home clean but just can't afford the time or spend the effort to vacuum themselves. The self-driving vacuum has Wi-Fi on board so it can be controlled from anywhere in the world via a phone app or from an Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant device. This makes it easy to vacuum your home from work. While it's safe to be skeptical of a self-cleaning vacuum, users have been thrilled at the results that Roomba provides. While the vacuum moves slowly enough that it won't cover your entire house every day, over the course of two or three days, the Roomba's travels pattern will cover your entire floor. The vacuum won't scratch hardwood floors or cause scratches on the chair and table legs, yet it does an excellent job of sucking up dust and hair from hardwood and carpeted floors alike. The vacuum does a very good job of sucking things up, so much so that this vacuum can actually cause problems for cluttered homes with small things like Legos all over the floor. However, for people with pets, the cleaning power on carpets and being able to keep up with the rate of shedding can make a huge difference in cleanliness. The battery on the Roomba runs for 60 minutes and the vacuum is meant to return to its dock when its battery is running low. While it doesn't always make it back to the dock, it is relatively good at navigating your house once it has a week or so to map out its area.